Hi, this is Kyle Houchins. I'm a technical trainer for McNeil, and I wanted to show you a quick trick on how to use uh, Flow Along Surface. I've gotten a couple of calls this week on tech for people who have not used this feature, or don't understand how this feature works, and I wanted to just do a quick little demo using our logo from the MoFloco. Um, and the way this tool works is pretty simple and I want you to think of the entire way that we're doing this tool is about setting up a relationship and we've got an object and then we're going to create a source or a base surface that is related to this logo somehow right if we take a look at this and we say okay notice the position of this logo on the surface. It's a little lower, it's not centered, it's a little right, all this kind of stuff. If I change the relationship of this somehow, this is going to set the relationship for how this is flowed, flown, flowed, flowlated. <laughs> how this, this logo is applied to the surface our target that we're going to go to and if I go to perspective view and we say okay let's say this is the surface that we want to flow this logo onto now the other thing that we want to talk about is history and history for the purpose of this video I'm gonna have this always record and update children and the reason for that is I'm actually gonna use the copy option for this operation which is going to leave the the main this guy it's going to leave it here and we're going to actually make a copy of it over here now the cool thing about that is I can then use this as a remote control to change the relationship of this to this which is then going to change the relationship of the object that we flow over here to this surface and it's a one-to-one -one correlation so if I make this bigger the logo over here is going to get smaller and if I make this smaller the logo over here is going to get bigger because it's a relationship so let's go ahead and run it uh, we're going to run flow along surf and I'm going to grab this piece and I'm going to say that is my object to flow we always want to pay attention to the command line in Rhino and then what is the base surface it's going to be this one right I'm gonna this is my base or my target or my or sorry this is my base or my source right this is this is source I've got it listed as source over here but in Rhino they call it base so let's say this is our base and then the target surface is gonna be this one over here and I wanna pick since I picked this corner here I wanna pick the same corner over here and watch what happens boop off we go now because this was done with history if I grab this and I make this smaller what's gonna happen that's gonna get smaller now I can also make this smaller and I've changed the relationship between the logo and the base surface so what's gonna happen the logo is actually gonna get bigger over here because I have the logo is essentially bigger in relationship to the base surface so it's gonna get bigger in relationship to the target surface now the cool thing about this is because this is all historically enabled I can actually turn on the points of my target surface and I can adjust this because what it's going to do is this is historically flowed, flown, flowlated, however we want to call it, applied over here to this surface and it's just a relationship so if I change this original surface or this target surface and I change this like this it's going to update and if I do this it's gonna update again so there's a ton of power here in terms of history now the other thing that we want to keep in mind is this relationship also um, applies to the depth so let's say this guy sticks up too far all I have to do is change the relationship of the original to say well my my base surface and my object are relating to each other in terms of this depth if I take this and I change that depth and I make this much shallower it's gonna drop over there as well 
And if I do this, it's going to shoot way up here in space. So this system has a ton of power in it. You can think about this if you're a jeweler, uh, a jeweler or um, you're modeling something on, you know, you're applying, you're doing ceramics and you want to put a detail on a, you know, whatever. Once you have this relationship set up, then you can do whatever you want. Now, the cool thing about this is this relationship actually goes a little deeper. Check this out. I can actually come in here and I can, let's say, apply a twist deformer to this thing. And I'm going to set my twist axis down here. And I'm going to go back to my front view. Nope, right view. And I'm going to twist this a little bit. Actually, let's do that right. <laughs> uh, so this is going to be the start of my twist. This is going to be the end of my twist. And then I'm going to start here. And then I'm going to just twist this a little bit. And so I'm actually going to affect. Actually, let's go crazy. Let's twist it like twice. And what I've done now is I've changed the relationship of my original piece to my source or my base which means it's going to change the relationship of the piece that's been applied over here to the base so i've got like kind of inception level history here where i can i can mess with this on a bunch of different levels and so and i can always undo it and put it back to where it, where it was but but you can play with this all day long and say, you know, you apply a logo onto an object and you say, well, I don't really like how that's, you know, I want it to be deeper here and thinner over there or whatever. You want it to be, you know, protrude this far here and stay over there, but you want it to be kind of thin in the middle. So all we have to do is grab this, go to the front view, put a cage edit on it, bounding box world, and voila we can grab this and then we can actually just cage edit the center of this thing down a little bit like this and we've changed the relationship of the object to the base so it's going to change the relationship of the copy to the target all right cool stuff all sorts of power here that you can do all day long one thing that we need to understand about the base and the target surface is their structure relates to each other. So say, for instance, if I were to just isolate these, and we were to look at this, right? These are, these are evenly parameterized 4x4 uh, four four single span surfaces, right, both of them. And that's kind of important. You want the surfaces to be generally in the same neighborhood. And you can use rebuild. You can use you know you can create surfaces you can copy this surface and modify it which is what I did here so that the surface parameterization matches on the two but it's not super critical what is super critical is if I run the dir command you can see that we've got the surface directions right we've got uv and n and in this case I'm gonna just refer to it as green red white okay so the important thing is that the green goes in the same direction the red goes in the same direction and the white goes in the same direction and if I bring this the model back, you can see that because those match, this applied how we were expecting it to apply. If I change this and I were to say swap the V, look what happens. The, the, the relationship, and if I bring this back, you can see now that our directions do not match right this direction is is correct and that direction is correct but that one is not so if you run this command and you get unexpected results run the dir command the direction command and make sure that your green is going in the right direction your red is going in the right direction and your white is going in the right right direction and in this case all we need to do is just simply swap our v so that they match the model flows correctly and that gets you what you need so I hope that gives you a little insight into how this tool works. And any of the, you know, flow long surface, flow long curve, same mentality, right? It's about all about setting up a relationship 
once that relationship is set up, then you've got all sorts of options with history that you can use to um, you know, accomplish the kind of things that you want to accomplish. So I hope that takes a little bit of the mystery out of it. That's all I got for you now. I'm Kyle Houchins, Tech and a Trainer for McNeil. Go make great stuff. Bye.